In the late evening of 11 December 2023, the South African Sports, Arts and Culture Minister Zizi Godwa broke the news of Zahara's death. This came as a shock to all her South African fans who were indeed hoping that the musician would recover. In this video, we will look at the events surrounding her death, why she started drinking and her legacy. But before we proceed, do subscribe to our YouTube channel for more content like this. Two weeks ago, Zara was hospitalized for a liver-related complication. While the details were initially blurred, it eventually came out that her liver was damaged beyond any foreseeable recovery, giving rise to the potential need of a liver transplant. The condition Zara had is called liver cirrhosis, which is essentially the scarring of the liver to a point of liver failure as a result mostly of chronic alcohol abuse. But those who knew Zahara growing up would say she was anything but a drinker. So what led to her alcoholism? Well, this is believed to be the reason. In 2014, Zahara's younger brother was murdered in East London, Eastern Cape. He was found with multiple gunshot wounds and only his cell phone missing. These were really devastating news for Bulelwa who really loved her younger brother to death. Most people around her say she never truly recovered from this fatal blow. No matter how hard she tried, it seems like that day couldn't leave her head. As a result, after 2014, she became a heavy drinker and never recovered. And seven years after her brother's death, Zara lost her sister in a car accident in 2021. This was the final fatal blow to Zahara, leading her back to a dark place. Unlike casual drinkers, it seems as though Zahara was using the bottle to forget her pain instead of facing it. But as you can imagine, it can't be easy to face the death of your younger brother, especially if he was murdered. Her heavy drinking continued for years to the point that she was hospitalized for a liver complication years back. The doctor even warned Bulero that if she continued drinking, she wouldn't survive the scarring next time. Which is essentially what happened this time after she ignored the warning and continued drinking supposedly. But as you can imagine, quitting alcohol is actually extremely hard and Zahara tried to be sober and would tell her close friend about her journey. But perhaps it was just too late as she was once again hospitalized over a liver complication which led to her death. This was a fatal blow to her mother who has now lost two of her children. Some of her sisters were alleged to be shopping while the music star was in hospital, said another report. Zara's manager seemed to confirm the incident but didn't want to comment further. Her fiancé Mpot Gaba was the only one with Zahara at the time of her death. He supported her all the way to the end. In fact, at some point Zahara's family was barred from seeing her by Gaba. Gaba was the one who was facing the hospital bills as well as he had added Zahara onto his own medical aid. Zara's death was definitely a fatal blow to all who heard it as her music brought nothing but healing to those who listened to it. The pressures of fame and paparazzi didn't give her the privacy and time she needed to heal, but continued to poke the wound. In her later days, Zara would complain about that, saying that she had given her all to South Africa, but that they had done very little for her. At the time of such sentiments, it said that Zara was even considering leaving South Africa to settle overseas where she believed she would find peace. But instead she stayed and left us in such a manner none of us would have desired. Some alleged that the songtress was drugged with the traditional sorcery herb called Muti. This is because for those who believe in that sort of thing, they say Zahara had just gotten engaged and was finally happy. As a result, they alleged that her enemies didn't want her to be happy and drugged her. But that's not exactly what the evidence seems to suggest. While it's possible that she was poisoned, it seems unlikely as she already was in a long battle against alcohol. From a 2011 album of Lollywood to her latest project, Zara will always be remembered as a selfless healer who healed South Africa with the talent and gift, regardless of how they treated her in return. Indeed, Zara was dealing with a lot and preferred for people to focus more on her music as her personal life was hard for her to talk about, except through music. But most questions to Zahara were directed at her personal life, something she later said didn't really help her in dealing with the things she was facing. Yeah. Have you ever tried to stop? That's the problem. You came here to talk about the drinking. How about my album? No, we're gonna talk about the album. We still got so much. It's time. not about stopping and everything, but it was for you. 
for example i said nobody saw me carrying a, a, a glass not even in a club we hope she's in a better place and wish her family would find the healing they need in this time of sorrow